be here, but I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. The guys who make us feel as if we don't use our mouths properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. If you're wondering who is this person in the studio today, wow. His name is Flo Flani. He's a... Uh, and maybe you can start by introducing yourself before we go into what you've done, because it's just out of this world. <laughs> yeah, what up, beautiful folks? It's your boy, Flo Flani. And uh, yeah, I'm, you're watching Y254. You know, um, yeah, I'm a... Uh, vocal percussionist as you've just seen and i'm also a poet you get to witness the realism later on yeah <laughs> so what were you doing <laughs> exactly uh, it's uh, it's called beatbox mm -hmm. uh, interpretation of it is uh, vocal percussions mm -hmm. where now uh, you you do or uh, you imitate or uh, percussions with your with your own mouth mm -hmm. from throat lips and tongue mm -hmm. yeah and unafanga ko mevuta hewa kiasi gani so that you can be able to do what you have done. Nafanya the same training as scuba divers. <laughs> 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 yeah, learn how to keep your, you know, to hold your breath and stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. And maybe how long do you take, does it take to, for you to practice like what you've done right now? Yeah, it takes time because you, know, you, you need to like uh, arrange, it's like writing music. Mm -hmm. it, it's the same, same strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it just comes out of you automatically, like, come at as a practice going back and just sing anywhere. Yeah, you come <laughs> with style when you find it. So you can, you can put syllables together and make an instrument out of it. Uh -huh. yeah. And what interested you in joining and doing what you're doing right now? Uh, I've always been curious about like what what uh what, what, what i'm like the the extension like how far can i go with something mm -hmm. like writing you know with themes and stuff now i found out that uh with the with the with the syllables we 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 utter with our with our words if we stress on them they would become our musical instruments like the b it's the p, the s the s and the t in it ah. so that's a that's a beat right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I don't think I've I've ever seen a lady doing beatboxing. I am not so sure about it because I, I don't know how yeah, it will look seen like. Kenya. I, I'm yet to see that in hey, Kenya. So you can teach me. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Actually, now you could be the first. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. that would be so awesome. <laughs> awesome, super awesome. Uh, and maybe who mentors you or who do you look up to in terms of beatboxing? Uh, I hang out with uh, Akina Young Noise. It's uh -huh. like the, the the best technical uh, beatboxer uh -huh. in the country, uh -huh. and uh, 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 I view a lot of uh, beatboxers on YouTube, like uh, Eclipse and Mouthpiece, uh -huh. and they are really awesome. So so they help me uh, learn more more techniques within myself. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. And maybe what is the longest beatbox you have ever done consistently? For how long? Uh. I've done like uh, uh, almost like an hour. <laughs> but but th that one re needs like uh, ample time for rehearsals and <laughs> stuff. Yeah, like no, too much. Yeah, <laughs> 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 your, your whole diet has to change, like like because because you need to like have all that energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it is really <laughs> awesome. And Thank you. Maybe there are beatboxing cha nearly challenges in Kenya and also uh, uh, in the world. I don't yeah. know. Maybe you can tell us more about that in Kenya. Uh, mm. In Kenya, mm. we we haven't had that because uh, we still trying to put our beatboxers together yeah. and we've come to realize that they are not as as, as many mm -hmm. but uh, uh one of ourselves uh young noise is i don't think uh 
it, it, it has happened. I don't know whether it has happened or not, but he's supposed to represent us in Germany, I hey. guess, mm -hmm. you know, for the beatbox battle. Mm -hmm. But for for my technique, I, I'm not a technical beatboxer. There are like uh, two styles of beatbox. Mm. Uh, there's a technical and a rhythmic. Mine is more rhythmic. You know, it, it depends with the music you listen to. Mm. Like if you listen to techno and the house and stuff, mm. that's that one will make more, it will make you more of a technical beatboxer. Mm -hmm. But for mine, since it's like uh, the boom bap, hip hop, and jazz. Mine is a uh, mellow rhythmic. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and I feel like because it's a form of music also. Yeah, like it when is. you are calling the people of Afro pop or Koapa, but yeah. but beatboxers are just sitting to Maybe what are you doing towards that, making sure that you are all known everywhere? Uh, <laughs> okay, at the moment, uh, I have a band I'm yeah. traveling with, mm. so they do the strings and the bass, so I, I do the kick and the snare and the trumpets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And before you go to your you do yourself as a poet artist, yeah, let yeah. me can tell us what's your goal as a beatboxer. What exactly do you want to achieve? I'm okay, but you're quite too different. Yeah, you know, at at uh, you you go along with it until you 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 in the coffin. That's how I feel about it. But imagine your grandpa. Then I took some money. I go back and I'm like the coolest boom, thing. Boom, boom, <laughs> I'll be like a, a celebrity on YouTube because okay. you know everybody will have like a, <laughs> a clip the of me every day. Like, like that would be dope. That that would be uh, wow. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, what again was the question? Oh yeah, that. What's up, guys? Now, uh, for 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 um, what what I would like it to be like, for, for other people is help them discover themselves as well. Because yeah. I've been listening to like hip hop, Akina, most deaf and common. And that's how I discovered like I, there's more to just me, you know, standing here, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, me or I, I, I'm a tool to to help this world become a better place. Via beatbox, via, via that, I discovered now I can do beatbox. Now via my beatbox, somebody else will discover something, you know, they have inside them, I don't know, but maybe there is something unique. So that's my goal. If somebody would listen to me and become like a whole new person, positively, my, my that, that's my goal. Mm -hmm. my, my work is done. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if, if someone is watching you and they're like, I also want to do what he's doing, yeah. maybe what is required for you to, <laughs> to beatbox? Come creative. Just be as creative as you can be. And uh, like, uh, it, it, it's a speech. It, yeah. it, it, it's like speaking. Like you are a big boxer subconsciously. <laughs> you don't know. Exactly. You've been trying to put things together, but you don't stress on the actual, <laughs> you know, syllables that you should. So yeah, just just learn. Mm. It's it's easy. Like uh, I'll I'll do I'll do like uh, the most basic style. Like they call the boots and cuts. Mm -hmm. It's boots and cuts. So you say boots and cuts. Hey, okay. So you have the <laughs> kick, the snare, mm -hmm. and the hi hat. In between boots and cuts, that's it, and you'll be a bit boxer <laughs> by that. Okay, we just take a practice of our because we get the tari mutu zina yango. And maybe what's the the most challenging part of being a bit boxer in Kenya right now? Mm. Oh, at the moment, oh, it, it, there, there is no. Oh, uh, first of all, the equipments for beatbox. There's something they call uh, a loop station, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's where now now I can lay down a kick and have it just playing. I can now add a snare, have it playing as well. Now I can I can add more more sounds other than doing them myself. Oh, then okay. like the machine mm -hmm. we, we have do that. It's like pretty expensive at the moment, and the guys who are selling them are, are not like available. You you have to like go on eBay and stuff. Now if we could have these things locally then I would be would be like super awesome. Also well, people people hasn't like uh captured this as an art. You can't just go and say, Well I'm a I'm a beatboxer and they like you do it and they say you do that for a living like seriously, you know, like get a job or something. Like like you need to like invest that we need uh, as beatboxers as artists we need to like package help us package this the way it should be and then it becomes something like we can really show out there and it be seen to be something real so right now there's no way you can earn a living out of it or we are earning are, but uh, not as much as as, as we should because because somebody's like well beatbox you know plus if if it, you know your worth you, you know how much uh, energy you put into it yeah. but now people are not willing to like you know pay for for it you know they are like okay uh, it's cool but um, <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I ring you up. I have a number, right? I I I, I, I ring you, and 
Yeah. Hey, but it is, it is so interesting. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's about, and it's and about I can imagine when you're practicing it on your walking, and maybe <laughs> whatever you're doing, I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, actually, when I'm walking <laughs> uh, in the street, people go like, can you believe that guy? I know, seriously. It's like they go, oh, yeah, well, they think you're crazy or something. So you have to, to look into something. As you come when I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, speaking of it, you're also a poet artist. Maybe yeah. how did the true merge or how, what started? Which one did you start with? Mm. Oh, mm. Uh, it's a f special story I, I, I like to g give out there. It happens. Uh, I'm a stammer. Most of the times, I, my speech just goes. Mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to wear a lot of confidence for, for me to be like uh, in the in, uh, the shows and places like here. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I've been, I, 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 the same one I was saying, you, you, you discover yourself. So I, I was like, why, what's God trying to tell me, you know, with all this? Because mm -hmm. being a stammerer, you be stuck on one syllable. So you're like, boop, 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 boop. right there, it just hit me, like God is trying to be funny with me. Like, 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 that's that's a DJ in in the making. The way he's oh. scratching, the p -p 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 you're scratching. So just add something to it, and it'll be like a, an art form. And that's for me. First of all, I discovered like I, c I can do this. I didn't know it was beatbox at first. Ah. So I saw Akina Young Noise okay. do it. I said, Holy man, did, <laughs> did you can do this? And then and I started talking to them, and they, they told me it's called beatbox. It's an art form, and we can do it. And uh, yeah. So mm. it, it's so special to me. So w when I started writing, you know, b because I, 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 with my with my uh, uh, realism, I'm trying to like share the message, like what I go through, tell people. So if you go d d d d through the, it the same way, you you won't feel alone. Yeah. Actually, you become more stronger. Oh wow! So the beatbox and and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, my spoken word they kind of met together somewhere in a miraculous way and that's why I tried to fuse them all along. Oh wow. If you just see me w listening to him with my mouth wide open, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't ask why because he's just speaking too much and I'm also amazed with him. <laughs> all right and maybe you can tell us is there any specific message you pass through with your spoken word at point so to say? Uh, the discovery of self. Mm -hmm. Explore you yourself. Like I, I talk to people, like, uh, dude, what's your hobby? Like, are you a Miss Jejua? You know, I can't say chora, but soon, soon, Tajua. So you're wasting time, mm -hmm. and we we don't know, we don't know, like, the end of hours. So you, you need to like have captured whatever you've got before your time. Mm -hmm. So my message in my in my all my performances right and writings is the discovery of self mm -hmm. know yourself you can never know other thing before you know yourself mm -hmm. yes right and also understand that you have performed in many uh, uh poetry arenas yeah. maybe how do you get those opportunities and maybe where have you performed so far <laughs> <laughs> uh any spoken word hip-hop event in kenya uh, uh I find myself there because people are like, oh, that's unique. Maybe yeah. I can have you on my set. Uh, I, I, I've, did, I've worked with uh, Octopizo and other big b b bands where, where now, you know, they, they, they don't want to like do the kick and the snare themselves. They want to improvise. So I come through as a vocal percussionist. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, from Power Festival to Slam Africa, name them, I've been, I've been doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe how many pieces have you written? So far, I, I, I have a lot of materials. Mm -hmm. I did a, a spoken word studio album uh, a while back, and then I did a hip hop EP. The, the album was called Maisha Konya Nyumba Mabati. When I was trying to paint the, the, the positive side of the, of the, of the hood, the you know, ghetto. And then I did a hip hop uh, EP called mm -hmm. the, the Skilled Tape. Mm -hmm. Well, now I was trying to show the other side of my rap, sk my rap skills. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, uh, sometimes you're going to perform it. Is there something that you sometimes you cram, uh, you rehearse, you just come up, it comes from your mind just like that? Welcome, yeah. Perform Kitu Sai, Una Form to Araka Araka. Are you that kind of a person, or how exactly do you do uh, your spoken word? I, I, I have to sketch it. I, I, I feel like. Uh, what is a is a living thing mm -hmm. it can do wonders so first of all you construct it let it mature within yourself before you share it 
that's why I'm not. I, I even with the with, with the when I was a rapper, I couldn't be a freestyle artist because I felt like this word needs to be concentrated on first. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, I all the materials I perform, I sketch them first, I go through them, I rehearse, and then I I spit them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're a word full person, so to say. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe I should ask you this. Eh? You know, it's an art in you, and yeah. you know, ladies do love words. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever used it? <laughs> yes. Sometimes I'm tempted. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I, okay. <laughs> I realized that what I've done was like <laughs> somehow really cool. Cause she goes like, eh, what? Eh. what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, yeah, though this, this one lady who really got me, I, I, I was trying to be cool and everything. And then she say, don't you make up words for a living? Then went like, what? Say, what do you mean? Say, you're a poet. So this is like a performance to me. It's, you don't have to mean it, right? You just want to be cool with me. <laughs> <laughs> that really got me. But uh, uh -huh. each and every time, I'm trying to be sincere with my words. Each and every time I'm, I'm with a lady, you know, because she has to feel it. Hey, though. Yeah. <laughs> I had to ask you that. One. And maybe, do you have an event that is coming before we wind up? You can tell us. Yeah, uh, on 17th of, of June, I'll be performing at uh, Michael Joseph Center mm -hmm. for uh, a show called uh, The Flight mm -hmm. by Poet Andrew, mm -hmm. and then uh, we have something coming up uh, in a couple of months. Where now you get to witness Fluflani in his full element. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in August, All right, and because to talk Malaysia to na yo spoken word yako. What will you be talking about? Maybe we need to a glimpse of what we are seeing. I could do two for one for a lady. You know, like like to try and be sensual. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and I could do another one called it, you know, the Chronicles of a Dream Chaser. Because mm -hmm. I feel like uh, I've written this one from my own experience. I'm trying to prove a point. Mm -hmm. But you know, we struggle in, in the whole industry because you, you trying to like. So I, I wrote this one to showcase like we are dreamers and we go through stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, all right. I'm so encouraged when you use your weakness to bring out something more yeah. good and more beautiful. You have inspired me a lot today yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for coming thank but you, before thank that you. people people yeah today we had a very interesting topic when you're starting and maurice was saying that when you're making especially ladies when they're making their wedding vows they should include the word obey and i was saying no you shouldn't include that word eh? what do you think should women promise to obey their husbands during their wedding vows please send those sms's let us hear your views for now i want to leave you in the hands of flo flani as he does his face yeah this one is called uh, Excuse Me Miss. You make my heart go like Because you wear the aura of a queen. You got me feeling like I am way out of your league, Kukuwin, I mean. Surayako Rembo. Yangu, check. Yangu ni lebo ya rebo. I know I'm not good looking, but I've been thinking, how oh, about you and I? Season of the beauty and the beast. Is it see pick up lines ni words ni me pick up ka paint na brush he moment kiwa canvas I'm painting my heart out. So number ni penamba, yako ya kiyuno. Cause I would love to put my hand around you sometimes. Kaire tu, gada ka, flavor ni kaire tu, na gada ka, sax na trumpets kunda jazz. Cause this feeling came out of the blues. If you take it, you know. So you pay it, you Let me walk with you. Be along the union, be a cow on a flash here. When you're calling up your maps, cause I keep on getting lost in your eyes. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>